So I'd like to show you another little demo that involves putting buttons on a user form. Uh, first I'll show you what it does. So this is the user form button demo and it's posted on the class website. Now it's got three buttons and I put captions on them of red, blue, and green. Let's just go ahead and try them. So pushing the red button turns the, red, the button itself and the screen, the user form background red. Blue does the same thing for the blue button and green does the same thing for the green button. And you'll notice that it doesn't uh, affect the colors of the other buttons. So, okay. You can download this and play with it. Let's go take a look at the code now. So I'll go to the Developer tab. Oh, first, of course, I have to close this. Now Developer tab, and let's go over to Visual Basic. And here you can see my form with the three buttons. Um, I've got the caption, User Form Button Demo. If I select the red button, you can see that it's named BTN Red. Same with the blue and the green, have appropriate names. And here's a form called Form Button Demo. Okay, now I want to look at the, uh, the code for this. So to do this, I'll right click here, or you can Command click if you're on the Mac. It's very similar on the Mac. Same exact code, same application, runs on the Mac, so uh, I'm not doing a separate video for that. And let's just go to view the code. And here you see, can see the code. And it consists of three separate, simple little uh, procedures. And the way I got each of these procedures was to create the button and then double click on it. And that created a place for it on the um, code. In fact, if I wanted to, I could create another button. I'm going to copy this button and paste. Let's think of another color, um, like, say, yellow. Let's see, I'll make it a cat because it's too consistent. And I'm going to name it up here. BTN Yellow. Now if I wanted to be evil, I could name it button white or, or black or some nonsensical thing that doesn't correspond to what I want it to do. But I'm going to be nice to myself and my users and not do that. Okay, so now I'm going to double click here. I think that took care of it. Whoops. Come on you. Let's see if I got my code. Somehow I'm not doing this effectively. I think it's still in creation mode. Okay, let's do that for now. Ah, okay. So now button yellow, and um, let's do frm button demo dot back color tab here equals bb yellow and button yellow dot back color also equals bb yellow. All right, and I'm going to save that. Go back to Excel. And now, of course, I'm not opening the workbook again, but I can still run the macro. So let's do that. And here it is. And I'll try out my new button. Okay. Now you should download this and create a button for yourself. Uh, just to make sure you understand how everything works. And uh, it's kind of fun. You can play with it. And of course we're going to build on this and make buttons that do more interesting things. But this is a good way to start.